All right, so this is a concealer collection. Let me tell you what, I have way more concealer than what one person needs or can go through in an entire year. Unless I'm like caking it on and doing my makeup like two, two to three times a year, okay? There's a lot in here. <laughs> so let me just go ahead and show you my under eye concealers because I've only got four of those in total so i have elf uh, camo color corrector in the shade yellow if you've been watching my videos i'm trying to use this one up I'm right here on the usage not bad i've been using this since last year oh my god so much product in there so much and then we have ulta this is color correct concealer they're all color correctors it's in the shade yellow. No idea where I'm at on this, but I know I've used like a fair amount on this too. Shade the doe foot. Just a flat doe foot. No foot look on this one. Flat doe foot. The doe foots are usually different on these. We have Makeup Revolution. This is Eye Bright Corrector Light to Medium. And this is really nice, but it will make your um <laughs> your brush oily. But look at that. I'll be using that too. I just haven't used it for a minute because I'm trying to use up the elf, but I love it. That's good good stuff. And then the last one is um LA Girl Pro Conceal. It's a high definition and this is also in the shade light yellow. And this is like that squish tip. I'm not going to squish it, but you know, it's got that squish tip. So that's where I have those lows. I just put the hose. Put that back in there. Okay. Did I put that? Yeah, put that in there right away. Okay. Concealers. So we have Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in the shade Swan. I'll swap. I will swatch these for you. There's the doe foot on that. Because listen, I like lighter concealers versus my actual skin tone. Go ahead and show you the ones I have out in my shop by stash right now. We have KVD. I think it's called the Good Apple Concealer. I don't know. It's just a lightweight full coverage concealer. This is light 105. That's what the doe foot looks on that. What? What the heck? Okay, well, I accidentally like tipped it upside down. I'm pretty sure that's no good now. And I've been using this. Anyway, that's what she looks like, but I think this is expired, guys. Hmm. Yeah. Bunch of liquid came out, so I'm gonna throw this away. I don't trust it now. Girl, don't trust. Clean that up real fast. At least it didn't get on me. I'm clean. Dang it. Anyway, there goes that. That didn't have a. Uh, that had a very short expiration. Go ahead and clean it off my hand, since that's no longer in our lineup. I had that in my. Uh, <laughs> to be used up. I guess it's not in there now. Okay then. Garbage. I don't know why that did that. It was just good the other day. I mean, I didn't use it on my face this morning. That's good, though. <laughs> All right, then. Moving on. We have the Forever Skin Correct from Dior. And this is the shade 1CR. I absolutely love this stuff. Yeah, nothing came out of that. Okay. Anyway. There's the shade for this one. This is a gold mine, I love it. 
Now I'm going to be holding all these upside down just because now I'm scared. Scared. Yeah, it's just that one. Okay, then. Traumatized. This is one size. It is Turn Up the Base Butter Soap Concealer in the shade Fair 3 MR. Look at that. Doe foot. There's that one swatched. For the most part, most of these um, <laughs> match my skin. We have Maybelline Super Stay Active Wear Concealer. And this is in the shade 1. I like how it just got brighter. That's the doe foot for this one. Super thin. There's the shade. Now you see the difference in shades. Six minutes into the video. Let me hold this. Oh. Listen, I gotta show you the science here. Maybe it does it again. Hold it on the. Over the cloth. It's not doing it now, okay? But when I did that, it accidentally like tilted over. Um, Bunch of liquid came up. I don't know. I shouldn't have to mix it. It's been literally chilling and being used in my shop, my stash, for like the past month or so. So it should have been fine. I'm going to consider that deceased and expired. <laughs> so it's no bueno. So we have L'Oreal Paris Infallible 24 Hour Wear. Coverage concealer. This is in the shade shade for you. Oatmeal 345. Look at that fat doe foot. There's that shade. It's a much brighter outside of the package because it looks darker in the package than it does on the skin. I've already applied my two darker ones, I think, to my skin. And the Wet n Wild Mega Last Incognito. And this is in the shade Fair. I think this is outlasting that KBD. I don't even smell like paint yet. Wet n Wild is famous for smelling like paint. There's the Doe Foot. I like seeing the different doe foots. There's that swatched right there. We have NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. And this is in the shade. Light 1.25 Avocado. I was going to get like the travel size. My husband's like, here's the doe foot. He's like... Like that the price is he's like why don't you just get the full size i was like and so we like compared like the grams and stuff i was like yeah that's a better deal there's the shade swatched so far only one concealer that's been expired has been my kvd <laughs> So we have Makeup Revolution IRL Filter Finish Soft Matte in the shade C2. I absolutely really love this. this. is my favorite drugstore concealer. Here's the doe foot. It's a cute little, it looks like a little foot. There it is swatched. And we have Flower Beauty is the Get Real Serum Concealer, shade Ivory. Doe foot, cute doe foot. Now I actively try to use all of these. Even if I keep just one out, I will rotate the other one. There's that shade. I think as you see me do <laughs> my collection videos, 
Let me re-put my hair out. It's nuts. I just got the shower. I think I need to be all prettied up. I gotta look fine like this. To do a collection video? That didn't make no sense. So we have Tarte C Hydro Concealer. This is in the shade 14 in Fairlight Neutral. There's that doe foot. There's swatch. Here you have NYX and Bear With Me Concealer Serum. Some people use this as um, a foundation. It's pretty expensive. I mean, not really, but kind of expensive. And there's the good shake. And you can see where the usage I have on it. Not a whole lot, but there's some usage. There's a little pump on it. That pump and swatch. There it is. Swatch. That can be a foundation on me. I'm not even gonna lie. Not too bad of a skin match. We have Essence Keep Me Covered Concealer. And this is in the shade. I think they got a hard time finding the shade on this the last time. I don't know what shade I have, but I know it's like a light shade. Well, whatever mystery shade I have here. <laughs> Let me swatch it. There's our doe foot. There's a swatch. I think it's like a light ivory. I don't know why. And the next one, she's been sitting on the side for a minute, is Tarte Shape Tape Glow Wand. And this is in the shade Sunbeam. I did have like a smaller travel size, but I got rid of that one because I didn't need two of these. They were just two different shades. I kept this one because I like the shade better. There's the doe foot. There's a swatch right there. And you know what? I've had this one longer than the KVD and it's still going strong. I used the sponge once. I'm never used sponge again because it easily pops out. So don't bother with the sponge. Then we have the Alme Concealer Clear Complexion and the shade Fair. <laughs> careful there's the doe foot I can drink my coffee about the cough oh no anyway here's the doe foot Here's where she is swatched. On our last three here. We have Beauty Blender. It's their Bounce Airbrush Liquid Whip Concealer. And the shade 1.20C Light Fair. Can you see why your girl's on her? Oh, this is another one you have to be careful pulling out. I say careful pulling out because listen, you pull it out too fast, it's gonna like get little droplets everywhere. See, I got a droplet. Fixed it. There's the doe foot. And there's what she looks like swatched. Then the lightest concealer I have in my collection besides. The balance one. 
is the Jaclyn Hill in the shade Fair Yellow. There's the Dove Lit. Still so creamy. There she is swatched. And then the last one in the collection is AB, ABH Anastasia Beverly Hills. It is the Magic Touch Concealer Shade 3. This has like a super fat, <laughs> weird looking doe foot. That's a great concealer too. And here she is swatched. Okay, so all together concealer wise, minus the, we're not counting one up there and away because that is no bueno. I have one, concealers. I don't need to buy any more concealers in my life. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching. What's your favorite concealer? What kind of concealers do you like? I like a mix of everything. My nose is so itchy. A little pimple right there. Makes sense why it's itchy. What kind of concealers do you like to buy? Do you like them to match your skin tone? Do you like it a little bit brighter? Let me know. Do you like one to two concealers in your collection? Just the one? Are you like me? Did you hoard your concealers? <laughs> and it will be like one day, whoa, too much stuff. No more buy. Let me know. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe and hope to see you next time.